What if we could blow up the sun artificially by insertion of a thermonuclear warhead into the sun? Well, that's what the people in this paper are exploring. Explosion of the sun. I studied this paper for about maybe like four to six months. Tried to really find the answer to it. However, at the very end of it all, um, I can only explain to you how it would work, how we would do it, and why you maybe should be scared or maybe this should be taken a little bit more seriously. Let's start off real quick. Okay, so the sun contains about 74% hydrogen by weight. Why is that important? That is important because the way this would work is by us inserting a fusion bomb into the sun, causing a chain reaction. Now, why does a chain reaction happen? Good question. Let's imagine that this is the sun. Cool. Now, within the sun, there's a lot of protons, there's other stuff too, but we're not gonna get into that because it's not very important. Let's just think of the protons now. Protons, protons are, interestingly, positively charged. And the sun is just chock full of all these protons in uh, different various forms, but the the key point here is if you've ever attempted to hold like two of the same like um let's say the positive end of a magnet and the other positive end of a magnet to get like force them together they 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 wiggle they won't let you do it i mean you can do it but it takes a lot of force the same thing happens with particles for this for the force that's causing the uh causing the particles to repel from each other it's a, it's a very important force, and we are going to draw it right here as an arrow like that. This force is known as the Coulomb force, the, or the Coulomb barrier. And it's, a, an, it's an extremely powerful force, and it's what causes all of the protons to just like Oof, like come close to each other and then woof away. Now, every once in a while, because there's so much, um, there's so, so many protons and, and other things within the sun, something magical happens. And this magical thing, it's called quantum tunneling. For our purposes here, we do not need to know how quantum tunneling really works, besides the fact that it kind of just invisibly teleports Past the, but past the Coulomb barrier, this barrier that requires a tremendous amount of energy to get through. And when two protons actually, and when this happens, two protons collide and they fuse. That's called fusion. Probably heard of it. Part of the matter or the, or the mass of the protons turns into energy via E equals MC squared. That's where you get the energy from a fusion reaction. It takes around like, oh, I think it's about four mega electron volts. Or it's some measure of energy to overcome the Coulomb barrier. If you have enough of that energy, you can just, you just smash those protons together. And imagine the protons are all over the sun. And then, so you smash them together, fusion occurs, boom, explosion. So what would happen if, and this is what the paper is talking about, what would happen if we made a special little ship, maybe, maybe like this, and we uh, shielded it in special material, and this has, authors acknowledge in this paper that this material may not be available yet, but we do, we are pretty close to it with the Parker Solar Probe. With me, stuff like mirrors, uh, you can get things down to about like, uh, you can get them pretty cool once you go through the sun. And the sun's hot, but it's not as hot as I think people think. Let's say we take this thermonuclear bomb. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. And it just goes in to, uh, goes into the sun and, and it detonates. Poof. We've just created a small, we've created a small area where there's a lot of energy. And it's enough, it's, it's so much and enough energy that the Coulomb barrier, this thing that's separating these protons uh, from like fusing together and just like causing a runaway reaction because once two protons fuse together, you get 
energy and then that energy can spread and then keep spreading and with enough of um a seeded reaction this theoretically could cause a runaway self propagating reaction within the sun potentially leading to a very large solar flare or worst case scenario an explosion of the sun you would think that okay it'll be difficult to actually get this thing in but the sun has so much gravity the acceleration of gravity there is tremendous i believe it's around 237 meters per second squared and to get to the point where the authors believe this thermonuclear detonation would make a uh, some sort of change in the star it would only take about 10 minutes for it to get there uh for it to get to the full core of the star it would take about 26 minutes and also i want to add that this is this uh is speculation it's a theory um sometimes a lot of people believe that stars are self-regulating uh however no one's tried to put a thermonuclear bomb inside of a star and see what happens that's what that's basically what it comes down to now this is uh scary and we should probably consider the outcomes of it. I know in the paper here, they definitely do. It is necessary because a thermonuclear, as thermonuclear and space technology spreads to even the least powerful nations in the centuries ahead, a dying di dictator having thermonuclear missile weapons can uh, produce, with, produce an artificial explosion of the sun and take it into his grave, the whole of humanity. Um, more than the whole of humanity, uh, I'm not exactly sure what would happen with the sun if it did fully explode in a sort of supernova, supernova type way, then supernovas can, can, uh, up to 200 to a thousand light years away in, uh, in radius. This is the paper. They go into more stuff, but what I've just explained is essentially how this could work. If you want to learn more um and like you know see a bit more about how in depth we went into this you can i'll give you a link to the live research that we did on this um within the channel but for now that's it for today tomorrow i'm going to be covering the mysteries of or the conspiracies of adderall i want to do a live feed whereby um we go down the tunnel of uh how the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry is basically uh, screwing Americans. And uh, I have some pretty cool evidence for that. Until next time, see you guys.